Gaming Bolt presents 14 things you need to know before you buy Pokémon Tournament DX. The Wii U may have had a short and miserable lifespan, but there's no doubt in anyone's minds that along the road it saw a few great releases. One of the last truly good games to come out on the system was Pokémon Tournament, a collaboration between Bandai Namco and Nintendo that saw players engaging in a full-on fighter that featured a large roster of Pokémon. Pokémon Tournament is now making its way over to the Nintendo Switch, like a few other games before it, and probably a few more games in the future. But it's not a simple repackaging. It's the definitive way to play the game for those who haven't played the game before, and for those who have. Here in this feature, we're going to take a look at 14 things you should know about Pokémon Tournament DX for the Nintendo Switch. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Expanded Roster while the Wii U version of Pokémon Tournament had a roster that contained 16 Pokémon to choose from, the Switch version of the game will have an expanded roster of 21 fighters. Four of these will be Croagunk, Empoleon, Darkrai, and Scizor, all of which were available in the arcade version of the game, but never the Wii U one. Decidueye Of course, that's only four of the five new characters. The fifth new fighter to be added to the roster of Pokémon Tournament DX will be Decidueye, the final evolution form of the grass starter Rowlet from 2016's Pokémon Sun and Moon. This will of course be the first time Pokémon Tournaments will be able to play as Decidueye. Single Joy-Con Option One of the biggest draws of the Switch is that it is a great system for people who want local multiplayer options, especially since each of its Joy-Cons can be used separately as an individual controller. For those of you who are wondering, yes, Pokémon Tournament will indeed feature the same option. However, what the allocation for the buttons and controls will be in single Joy-Con mode is not yet fully known. 3v3 Team Battles Another new addition in Pokémon Tournament DX will be 3 vs 3 battles. As the name suggests, players will be able to fight it out against opponents, both sides will have a team of 3 Pokémon, and just like in the Pokémon RPGs, each Pokémon will switch out for the next one when it can no longer continue fighting. Ranked Online Play Pokémon Tournament DX will, unlike the Wii U version of the game, also feature ranked online matches. This is a feature that admittedly should have been included in the Wii U version itself. It's something that you expect most games to have, especially if they're fighters, but we're glad to see that it's being included in the Switch version at the very least. Group Battles Pokémon Tournament DX includes enough new content to make sure that it doesn't just get called a lazy repackaging. One of the most interesting new additions in the game is the inclusion of friend-only group matches, which allows players to create groups with their own custom rules and play matches within that group as well. It's a neat addition, and one that should add considerable longevity to the game. New Stages Pokémon Tournament DX will have at least two new stages to speak of in addition to the ones we've already seen in the game's original Wii U release. One of these will be Thalia Beach, which is described as a popular resort island, while the other is Snow Gift, a festival snow-covered town. Both stages will be exclusive to the Switch, so you shouldn't expect them to be added to the Wii U versions via a patch or DLC. New Support Pokémon It's not just the main roster of the game that will be receiving an upgrade with the upcoming Switch version. Pokémon Tournament DX will also feature new support Pokémon, Litten and Poplio, two of the three starters from last year's Sun and Moon, will be included as offensive support Pokémon in the game. Their attacks will be Fire Fang and Bubble Beam, respectively. Pokémon Selection One of the key changes in Pokémon Tournament DX is also one that might not seem so important at first glance. In the upcoming Switch version, players will be able to change and switch out both their fighters as well as their support Pokémon, not through a menu on the screen, but through pressing buttons, with each of them mapped to a specific button. This is so important because the other player won't be able to tell which Pokémon is being sent out next, and thus won't be able to use that information to his or her advantage. Entire roster open from the beginning This is something that should make fans of the Pokémon series very happy. When you get your hands on Pokémon Tournament DX and start playing it, you won't be forced to choose from limited characters. Instead, the entire in-game roster will be open right from the get-go. So, if you feel like experimenting with each of the Pokémon before you settle on which one you like best, you will be completely free to do so. 
balance changes. As some fans of Pokémon Tournament may already know, the arcade version of the game has already received patches that makes changes to the gameplay balance, such as adding new moves to both fighters and support Pokémon. Pokémon Tournament DX will have the same balance changes included, however we do not know yet if the game will feature any completely new balance changes. Watching and Sharing Replays This is another feature that arguably should have been included in the game back when it first launched. Pokémon Tournament DX will have the feature to watch replays of entire fights, while you will also be able to share replays of your own. Again, we don't see why Namco couldn't have included this in the Wii U version itself, but hey, at least we're finally getting it. Daily Challenges Pokémon Tournament DX surely won't be short on content. If all of the new and old modes in the game won't already be enough for you in terms of value for money, the game will also include daily challenges. Upon completion, these challenges will provide players with the means of upgrading their own Pokémon, so we can expect to see this feature contributing significantly to the game's replay value. Visual Upgrades Pokémon Tournament DX is also receiving some significant visual upgrades over its original version. While the Wii U version of the game was rendered in a resolution of 960x720, DX will run at a full 1280x720. Additionally, while the game's Switch version won't include anti-aliasing, which was included in the original, it will have better texture filtering, not to mention the fact that it will also run at a frame rate of 60 frames per second. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.